Hello there, Craig with you. And in this video, I'm going to answer the question that we get a lot from clients when they're building forms. What the hell does this mean? It's probably the most confusing option that we've seen in HubSpot and lots of people get confused. If you're confused by it, you're not alone. It confuses me even to this day. Let me explain what it all means. So I'm on the options tab of a form. This is just our simple contact us form on the Zen site. Now you can see I've come here. I've actually just refreshed this page. It's pre-filled all my details. I filled it in before. It's filled in all my details and in fact custom properties as well. So why is that being pre-filled? Well, actually, before we get to this option, let's actually have a look at this option here, pre-populate. And what this does is it uses cookies uh, in the browser to match your session to a previous session and pre-fill a form. So pre-populate pre contact fields with known values. It knows who I am because it's cookied me on this browser. And when I've come back to this page, it's pre-populated. Okay, great. All good so far. I think most people are aware of this functionality, so no surprises there. So that we often leave on. But then, there we, then we hit this option earlier on. Always create contact for new email address. And it says create a new contact when a form is submitted with an email address that doesn't match any in the existing records. So you might think, well, of course I'd have this on. If, if we don't have the email address, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? Of course, that would be on. Well, I want to highlight you probably, in most cases, on your website, want to leave this off. You don't want to turn it on. I'll show you, uh, show you why in a second. There are some cases, if a particular page is used by lots of different people on the same browser, then different things apply. Put that aside for now. Most cases, when your website's a marketing website, you've got a contact form, you'll leave this off. Let me tell you why. Because I've got this pre-populate on, and then I come back here, it knows who I am. It's pre-populated the fields. I've filled this in with my work address. What's if I come back, same me, same person, same session, uh, a same browser, and instead of filling this in with my personal, uh, my uh, work address, I fill it in with my personal address. That's my personal email. Don't spam me, please. What would happen? HubSpot knows who I am, and they've cookied me. So they know who I am and they've actually pre-filled. Now, what would happen if I save it here with a different email address? Well, what would happen is it would actually update that existing contact. So that one, co that one contact record in HubSpot, which had my Craig at Zen email, would now have this added. Probably overwrites uh, makes this the primary address and my old work address would be the secondary address. One contact, okay? So that's what would happen. And the reason is... Uh, we don't have this turned on and we have progressive form fields. So what's if we didn't want that to be the case? For example, if I were to come back and fill it out and uh, have my personal address, what's if we actually wanted it to be a second contact, a separate contact record entirely? Well, if you wanted to force that to be the case, you'd actually have this turned on. It actually turns off that pre-populate thing anyway. And then what this means is when you come back, and uh, to this page, it won't pre-populate with your details. It might still know who you are, but it ignores knowing who you are and creates a second separate contact record for you. So that's why you might want it. The answer to this, what does this option do, is based on the question, do I want to update and just have one contact record for the same person or potentially have two contact records, one for each of their email addresses? If it's the latter, then you'd tick it on. But I think you'll see in most cases you want that ticked off and in fact you'd want to pre-populate with fields. I hope that's helpful. I know it's confusing. If you've still got questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer you there. That's all for now. See you in the next one.